Hello and welcome back to Cranky Cast. So we just had a little run in with the Bronze Brotherhood. Uh, I am kind of curious about what is up here. I'll just take a quick little run up here. Just a bruiser and well be. Let's talk to Welby real quick, just to see what he says. Oh, it's a woman. A tall woman stands here, surveying the area from a small overlook. She glances at you and immediately goes back to watching her surroundings. Welcome to Iron Hall Trail, Fate Binder of Tunan. With all that running around, I wasn't sure you were ever going to make it here. I haven't made up my mind if I should be offended that you didn't speak to me first, or happy I get the final word. I hope Will didn't vex you too much. He's a good enough sort. He just enjoys his job a little more than he should. A hint of a smile plays across her lips. But he thinks of being sly, taking a cut of every toll. But he, but his told practically everyone that's what he's doing by now. Did Rataman have anything of note to tell you? Or is he still wasting his time scouring dead bodies for information he'll never find? She looks south and sighs softly. I will admit he has led this group with some minor to my to some minor glories, but I fear how he will end up if something doesn't change. She salutes you. My name is Welby, first axe of the Bronze Brotherhood, though I'm not sure that title matters anymore. She pauses to gather her thoughts, then opens her mouth to continue. Instead, she slowly exhales slowly uh, and shakes her head. Never mind. You needn't be burdened with my problems. What can I help you with? Mm, what does it mean to be first axe? She sighs. I wish I knew, Fatebinder. The first axe protects and consults with the first brother. I am supposed to be Rotman's advisor, confident and guard. Lately, his beh behavior has become erratic. His acting paranoid, manic, and distrustful. My duty as First Axe is to protect the First Brother. I am also sworn to protect the Brotherhood. And if that means the removal of Rotman, so be it. He has too many supporters in Lethian's Crossing right now to speak out against him. Uh, how would you run the Brotherhood? I wouldn't waste time and resources on petty vendettas. That much I can tell you. I like battle and I like rings. And with the Brotherhood, we get, we use to get both regularly. Now all I have is fear, suspicion, and blood. I want the disciplined regiment back. And I intend to have it. While I may agree that we were treated unjustly... Rataman's method for obtaining restitutions are despicable. True, acting like a child when you don't get what you want is not the behavior of a leader. Except in this case, the child is in control of an army capable of laying waste to his home. What do you think has happened to Rataman? Honestly, I couldn't speak to the cause. The stress of leadership, the battles with Kairos' forces, his night in the old walls, well be shrugs. Does it matter? His behavior is endangering the Brotherhood, and he must be stopped before we are destroyed. I fear people are hurt far more by the, than a simple toll. She points south. He is over there searching corpses, looking for information I know he's not going to find. He ambushed a patrol, is going to anger an Archon, and for what, his pride? Mm. I'm going to leave, that's it for now. Well be nods. Buy your leave, Fatebinder, and be careful. So I might have an ally in the Bronze Brotherhood. If things turn out a certain way, I think I just have to reduce the support that um, Radamon has in the city, first of all.
That's a bustling little town. Welcome to Lethian's Crossing, Fate Binder. Ooh, it's going to take a while to search through all this stuff, I think. Ah, uh, let's see what you have for sale. It's all too expensive. That's the spear I want. Do I have anything I can sell or... All right, I'm gonna just gonna go through here real quick and sell what I can. I don't need fruit or cheese or as your bell or meat. Pretty much just gonna sell everything, I think. Oh, crap. Some of that's equipped. Crap, crap, crap. How do I know if it's equipped or not? It's not equipped. I was looking at the the one on the left there, I think. Mirrored stompers. Ah, oh, when did I get those? I might want to hold on to them though. Got they have spell reflection on them. Heart of battle. When did I get that? All right, let's go with that for now. So I still don't have enough for this awesome spear. I could get a bronze great axe though for now. Hmm.
Wait a minute. Did I sell all my camping supplies? No. I think that's kept separately. I hope so, anyway. Ah, I can only have ten. I'm kind of annoyed that the only bronze great spear I can possibly get it's way too expensive. Hmm. You know, if I sell off these other things, I might be able to get it. Yeehaw! Oh, Outbreak is a... Looks like it's a... A bow. So I'm going to give you the bow. Um, I can sell off that sword now that I don't need that. see what's going around going on around the city what kind of merchant are you bunch of potions and stuff all right now what was that could you tell me anything about this seal I found it at Vendrian's well Basila looks at the seal for a few moments and shakes her head can't say I recognize it, but I don't really get into affairs outside of Lethian's Crossing unless I have to. Um, Har Harchion Bronze might, though. He seems to be well-traveled. So I've got to look for Harchion Bronze. See what you have for sale. <laughs> All right, some other nice weapons and stuff. Oh, here's Archie on bronze, so he might know. Archie on bronze. Greetings and salutations. The jolly merchant greets you with a smile and a clap on the shoulder. And welcome to Lethian's Crossing, home of the best merchant in the entirety of the tiers. He pauses and winks. That would be me. Archie and Bronze at your service. He bows. What can I do for you? Uh, let's see what he has for sale first. Got a bronze spear, a staff of enigma. Uh, 
a manteau of mirrors. Interesting. Well, at least there's new stuff to acquire when I get the chance. All right. Can you tell me anything about this seal? I found it in Vendrian's well. Hmm. Let's take a look, shall we? Harchion takes the seal and turns it over. When he spots the insignia, he quickly deposits it back in your hand and wipes his palms clean. Where did you get that? It came from a merchant caravan that was ransacked. Suspected as much, he mumbles and worries his brow. So far off the normal trading routes. But why there? Why then? Why now? Ah, uh, maybe you could start by telling me about the merchants? He refocuses on you and nods. Of course, the sigil belongs to the Hand Over Quill Merchant Company. His lips tighten to form a violent pucker. Tell me more about Hand Over Quill. They were once a powerful trade organization that, well, he cups his mouth and glances around. Let's just say you didn't want to get between them and a contract. What with Tunan's new laws in the Bastard City, the Quill slunk into the shadows of Kairos' authority, trying to keep a lower po profile. If you were involved in any of their dealings, stay far away. A shipment of iron and weapons went missing. It was found with this seal and a house in Ikokal Crossing. He strokes the shadow of a beard growth under his chin. Suspicious, I agree, but war always has its little problems. He waves a dismissal. It doesn't add up. Now, if we can return to the subject of my wares, he smiles and readies to show you some of his fancy bobble. Um, the weapons were meant for the disfavored, and the Vedrian guard suddenly had iron weapons. The Vendrian guard, Harchand, drums his fingers on his mouth and considers. Well, this changes things, I suppose. Changes things? What does Hand Over Quill have to do with the Vendrian guard? First things first, Harichan clo clears his throat. This will come at a price. If something unfortunate took place and my connection were traced back to me, the consequences would be costly I don't have a thousand rings do I um well let's do it and see what if I do have it he opens a deep pouch and you unceremoniously deposit a volume of rings the clatter of which turns several heads Harichan shakes the pouch once and nods, content the, content the agreed upon sum is there. Verse, wouldn't it be cheaper to beat it out of him? Verse shrugs, suit yourself, I'll be having more fun with my earnings. Harichan bronze, if you breathe a word of this to anyone, I will denounce you for the liar that you are, but he looks around to make sure there are no settlers close enough to overhear what is being said. I received instructions from Fifth Eye to use Hand Over Quill to deliver iron weapons to Vendrian's well, Citadel. I don't question my orders, I just follow through. I don't know anything else, and that's the truth. Um. So, he got instructions from Fifth Eye to use them to deliver the iron weapons. Huh. So that makes Fifth Eye kind of guilty of supplying the Vendrian guard? Or was he ordering it for himself and they just got stolen by the Disfavored. I don't know. It's 
Curious. Ah. What is this? A frozen shackle. You know, Ebb is kind of a... A frost user. I wonder if she can use that frozen shackle thing. I think it just um, would critically hit. It makes a frozen burst around her, maybe? I don't know. So let's see, how are my... You have gained access to Haven. The Regent's Spire is attached to the old walls. All right. So the voices of Narat was using Harchion, Harchion bronze to funnel weapons to the Vendrian guard. That's not good. All right, so I'm getting like all this evidence against the voices in the rot. Maybe I'll just take both of them down and establish myself as the high ruler of everything. Maybe that's what it's going to end up being. All right. It's going to take a long time to check everything out in this city. But I'm going to take a little break here and then we'll come back and explore it some more. So I'll see you later.